and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and um, today I've been doing some, gonna give a go to something that has been twinkling away in my brain for a while. It's a technique that I used in one of my very first paintings actually um, but just as an added little something whereas I'm going to use this technique to um, to create the entire look of the painting, to be honest. It's, um, it's exactly what it's going to be. So, first of all, I need a bit of um, a base colour. It doesn't have to be white. I'm using white for this particular painting just um, to create the colour combo that I'm after. And all my paints have been thinned with Floetrol, which is a uh, commercial painter's tool, which they use to thin the paint, slow the drying time, and allow them to not get quite so many brush strokes um, when they're painting your house. Uh, but what we use it for is to create a runnier consistency and allow the paint to still hold on to some of its uh, strengths and um, not not blow apart as it's as it's being stretched um, now this paint that I'm using as my white base color is actually house paint uh, it's a very cheap house paint that I buy from Bunnings called spring and um, I not only add the flow troll and water, but I also add a bit of PBA glue, you know, polyvinyl acetate, as the Americans call it. Um, that's what PBA stands for, by the way. Um, didn't know that until I watched some um, living channel paint crafting thing many years ago. In fact, I would say that would be about 17 years ago because my son was about six months old <laughs> and he's now 17. Um, so add the PVA just to give it a little bit more body. House paint isn't designed to be watered down to this runny and um, so by giving it that PVA glue it just builds up a little bit more strength and yumminess. <laughs> okay, so the colours I'm going to be using today are violet, turquoise, and ultramarine blue. But you could use any colours whatsoever for this process. Um, why? Because it's your painting. So what colours would be fun for you? And once you've seen the outcome that I'm looking to create, then you will, I'm sure, get some inspiration. If you are wanting to know what, um, how to mix your paints using flow troll and water, uh, have a look in the description below this video. Oh look, Drop. droppage, that is shocking. Um, Grubby, grubby mess. It's okay. No problems at this point. Just get them out. Because of the thickness of the paint, there tends to be a leveling out effect as it dries. There's a large proportion of water in these paints or moisture in these paints. So as it dries, it does tend to level out to some um, to some extent, but don't don't push it. Of course, it also depends on how much um, how thick you mix your paints. So, what am I doing here? Great question. So, what I thought I would do is start at one side. And 
and make some blobs. Now this might take a little while and depending on how long it takes I might speed this whole process up for you. As you can see, I'm trying to make them, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. I'm actually trying to make them smaller as I go along the line. And that is a deliberate attempt on my heart part. I might have to make that one and that one a little bit. And I am trying to keep them as round as possible. I just made a boo-boo by making that little spillage. No, we're not doing mandalas or anything dot dotty like that. Now I haven't done a test run of this, so I don't know whether this is actually going to work. <laughs> I'm just guessing. But I am going to try and get that a little bit more. That way um, and then I'm going to go back the other way with a different color oh no and go smaller as we go down now if you have any suggestions on how this could be done more accurately and with less spillage please 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 let me know in the description in the comments below I'd love to hear your suggestions on how you would do this different. Ugh. I'm thinking maybe I should get one of those um, little droppers. Where do I have some of those? Here we go. That's what I mean by a dropper. So let's get that a go with the turquoise. And we're going to start at this end. Okay, and then let's go back to the blue using the, the dropper definitely a lot more controllable anything I'm not a fan of these droppers is that they're not particularly washable they're sort of a one-time use thing um, You could get pretty um, OCD if you wanted to about lining lines up and you know every second row the dots go the same way so you should get the lines lined up. That's up to you. It really is. If it will bug you if it's not lined up, do it so it's lined up. If it won't bug you and you can't be bothered, great. And then we've got the turquoise, one more row. Somebody out there is asking, how do you use those droppers? It's just like an eyedropper, you squeeze the big bulby end and release that when it's under the paint, inside the paint. 
and it sucks, releases the air and then sucks back up the paint. All right, so there we have the base of it. I thought these two first rows are a bit messy. Then we learned our lesson, and the rest of them are looking pretty good. I'm just going to pop any air bubbles that I can see. This is just a little butane torch, and I don't have any silicon in these paints, so just flow troll and water and paint. So um, oh, oh, there's some more bubbles that I missed. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a toothpick, just a standard little wooden toothpick, and snap it in half. Okay, try and round out those fuzzy bits. And I'm going to do a couple of different options. One, starting the white, and they're all going to be like this. Okay. But, I'm going to do this row of colours. From big to little rather than from little to big. Just let's see which way looks better. Tell me in the comments which which row do you think's better? The going little to bigs or bigs to littles? Try and go through the center of them. How's that look? Pretty effective, doesn't it? I would really love it if that was not. So see how I'm using the, the sucking to bring that side in a little bit, just to try and tidy it up a bit, get rid of some of the... If you're going to do that, you need to squeeze the end off the painting. trying to tidy it up a little bit. There you go. How cool is that? I like it. I like it. I do I like it. Quite effective really. Look at this. If I can get the... So let me know in the comments which way you prefer. Little to big or big to little? I think I know which ones I prefer because it looks more real. <laughs> to me, the, the little to big actually looks like some sort of climbing ivy. Um, the little new little leaves are, but they're all connected down into the bottom. But let me know in the comments what's your favourite. I'm just going to see if I can tidy this up a bit more. Not sure you need to see the, the dry result in the video of this. I don't think it's going to change much. Um, but what I will do is I will post a photo of this uh, in 
the community tab. So if you're subscribed to my channel, there, um, if you click on um, my channel name and go to my channel page, there'll be a community tab. But also it turns into a little notification post if you've um, got your notifications bell turned on. Um, and I'll post a photo of this in the community tab once it's dry so that you can see it. Uh, I think a couple of those could be quite pretty made into some sort of, might I say, material. <laughs> for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I love to make material out of my paintings. Um, and so if you'd like to know more about how I do that, there is a video in um, my channel if you search for the word spoon flower in my channel. Uh, if I remember, I will put a link to it in the description be below. But uh, otherwise, check it out on my channel, spoon flower, and you'll find it. And it's really fun, really easy. Really liking this bit though. Let me. Um, Hmm, how can I do this? Let's grab a cabochon. I think I'm going to do a round one for that. Just kind of capture a chunk of it. Again, if you want to know more about how I do these cabochons, um, there is uh, videos in my channel. Maybe even in the links in the description below. Let's just zoom in. On that. It's pretty. So I've got my cabochon. Where are you? There. Got my cabochon on the end of my stick. Just going to polish it on my t-shirt. And then... How cool. Which way around would you wear it? The big bit of the purple, tell me whether you what numbers on the clock would you point the big bit to? So right now it would be at twelve o'clock. And when I go Ah, where are you? Come back to me. Oops, I'm a little out of. There, so that would be at six o'clock. Let me know, how would you, how would you hang this? All right, sweet friends, I have had fun actualizing my thing that's been, ah, sorry. Zoom did not work properly. I've had fun actualizing this painting, which is, as I said, something that's been in my head for a while. And you could, you know, you could go through and you could put gold bubble in each one um, before you draw the line through, and you'd get a double, double love heart layer, love, double leaf look to it. Um, maybe you could put different colors down the row maybe you could put a big one and then a, a metallic and then a next one and then a metallic then you know so that you get sort of a, a thread oh you know there's so many different things in there so I'm going to call this the love heart strings so if you uh, do one of these and um, share it in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group, which is my Facebook group. Um, then um, tag me, Mickey Art or Michelle Edhouse, and tell me that it's this. I look forward to sharing more videos. Oh, look. Hi. Here's Damo. I think he's come to play with paint with me. Um, I'm doing a bit of a paint fest. Uh, some of you have been asking about how my mum is. 
they are looking at what's going to be required when she returns home. And at this moment, that looks like me going to live with her, which means me not painting much. Um, so I'm looking to create as much fun and joy with paint before then, so that you and I can enjoy those videos as they happen spread out through my time away. Anyway, guys, I adore you. Have fun. Make sure you share some love with those that you love. Uh, even when we're in lockdown, there are ways that you can share your love. Just, you know, give them a call. Do a video chat on Zoom or Skype or all the other ways that you can play with people. And just remember to say I love you. They're all special people and... How does it get better than this? I had all you guys have fun. Bye-bye.